and welcome back to another vlog as you guys can already tell by the title we are off to pick up a couple more imports so we're starting the morning off five o'clock in the morning fresh at the gas station getting some nice shell diesel um, we've actually got mom in the truck which uh i'll ever say hi in a little while but we are filling up because we are headed to Jack's. So we both have our Twit cards now. Uh, we won't have to get escorted. So I think I will be able to get you guys some more uh, kind of behind the scenes uh, film. I still have to be careful. Um, I don't want to, you know, get in trouble or, or break a bunch of rules, but I know I'll be able to show you guys um, a little of what is there. So one of these vehicles is gonna consistently stay on the channel. One is already, already sold and the other one is, uh, possibly for sale so stay tuned if you guys are interested in uh, what you see and if you like what you see then uh, hit me up throw a comment down below uh, description down below OZ imports and we'll get you guys right but fuel is done um, I think we're gonna hit some coffee on the way up there we got to get rejuvenated and uh, ready for this morning got like a three-hour drive and we'll get off to it so I will catch you guys on the road This is how you know we are in Jacksonville. So I don't actually know uh, what river this crosses over, but uh, this is my favorite bridge because it means that we are here on the other side of this. We are going to be stopping at the Gat gas station. Gat gas station, the gate gas station. Uh, filling up the container of fuel because when these cars do come over from the well, while they're on the actual boat, they have to pretty much be drained of fuel. And last time we came up, I don't think we vlogged it, but we ran out of fuel. So we're gonna take precautions. I have my jump pack, we have our toy cards, we have our vests, and I think uh, we should be good to go. It is super pretty though. That's where all the boats come. And then uh, you got your stuff over there. And then actually on this side is where the car is gonna be pretty cool you guys will be brought along though all the containers and such Sheesh. and we have arrived we are at the famous gate come here every single time it's like the main gas station by uh, the port but we got our five gallon bucket hopefully you guys can hear me but quick overview uh, last time we got two vehicles and I think actually we were with the President and the Majesta. The Majesta ran out of fuel leaving the port and that was the one that wasn't going to be on the trailer. And then we had to flip flop them and my mom drove the President. It was just a mess. Had to go back and forth and we didn't have our Twit card so we kept having to pay extra time for the escort onto the actual port. It was just a mess and it cost me a bunch of money and you know now we are just taking preventative measures. So. Time to fill this up, probably gonna do like four gallons. I'll put uh, two gallons in each of the vehicles and then we will load them up and come back here so that we can actually fill them up. Uh, Mom's is actually gonna be driving one of the cars back home and of course the other's gonna be on the trailer. I do just wanna note, your boy said four gallons and I got it right on the dot. Hopefully today will be a good day. Okay, well, we are on the port. C34 Laurel is acquired, the Chaser, is acquired I'm trying to be a bit discreet because we're really not supposed to um, I actually picked up my load a little bit late at least on the chaser but I gotta go hey man you know we got the big boy shades on so of uh, course it means business but we got moms hopefully not blasted by the wind moms is behind me and uh, we've got the chaser and Laurel loaded up i uh didn't realize i never mentioned it before we got to the port uh what we were picking up and then in that video while i was at the port of course i uh told you guys so surprise surprise we've got a jzx 100 chaser and a rb25 det c34 laurel uh once we get to gat correction i keep saying gat maybe i'm just excited to go to gat uh once we get to the gate gas station we will go over the vehicles. Uh, I will give you a little bit more info and stuff. And then of course, from there, we're gonna be heading home. But whether you take me serious or not with these bad Johnnies on, uh, we are at the gas station. 
We've got the Laurel and the Chaser, both uh, ready to go. I was gonna go over it now, but mom's tired. I think we're both uh, pretty hungry. And yeah, so we will be going over these in depth when we get home, might wash them up, uh, but I'm gonna bring both of these home and we'll go from there. So we'll spend a little more time. Maybe we'll find some cool doodads on them. Uh, we'll go over every single spec of both. I will say that uh, nobody here will be able to pick up the Chaser, but you could potentially be able to pick up the RB25 DET C34 Laurel. Uh, and, and might do a, a little uh, dealio schmilio for one of the subscribers. So wouldn't mind hooking you up. Anyways, we're gonna get on the road, maybe hit some Chick-fil-A and not lock ourselves out this time. Uh, and I will catch you guys in uh, about three hours when we get back to Orlando. We'll dive into these Johnnies and uh, hope you guys are excited for some more import content. Yes, sir. You already know we had to stop at old Bucky's. Man, it is going crazy in this in this bucking place. You feel me? You do feel me. Well, I'm chasing moms. I don't know where she's headed to, but uh, it's pretty dope seeing old Chaser in the in the rear view, side view. I keep thinking somebody's tailing me, but we all know they're not. All right. Well, sheesh. The chaser is chasing the laurel. You feel me? No, oh, what? Everybody meet my driver. Hi. That's one of my second drivers. How was the uh, laurel? What do you mean second drivers? I am the first driver. No, we both got our twit cards, you feel me? No, but I'm the got first. Got that on deck. I'm the first one got to that, say that I work for you. Got that twit card on deck? Oh yeah, facts. Dre doesn't even work for me yet. I work for you. <laughs> how'd the Laurel drive? It's costing me to work for you. <laughs> how, how'd, the, how'd the Laurel drive? Uh, it's wiggity. Yeah, it does need shocks, but I think uh, we're just gonna throw maybe some cheap coilovers on it uh, instead, and I might daily it for a little while. But uh, yeah, we'll go over that in a little while. Figured while we stop, I'd show you guys a little bit at Bucky's. This place is giant. All of those gases, all of these gases. It's like a giant one-stop pit shop Dang. yeah I've been in a Bucky's a couple times it's literally like a Walmart except gas station on steroids they got like barbecue over there you can go get steak sausages jerky stuffed chicken sandwiches tacos dipping dots literally everything you can world famous jerky a little bit of everything hey y'all see the camera on this truck boy <laughs> About negative 30 on it. Yeah. All right, well, mom got lunch, so it is, uh, let's see what we got here. Yeah, pulled pork, barbecue sandwich, and chopped brisket. Mm. A little beaver chips, felt me, pretty good. Oh, big yum, big yum. I think we're gonna eat and then we'll, we'll head out. So like I said, uh, we are at Bucky's. This place goes crazy. It's like a bunch of ants in there. Everybody's just going all over the place, but, uh, a little less than two hours and we'll be home and then we will dive into both of these vehicles I'll give you a little bit a uh, little bit of the plans I'll spill the beans towards the end of the video so stay tuned and I'll catch you guys back in Orlando and we are back and unloaded uh, I ended up getting the cars off or at least the chaser off the trailer uh, and then just go in and drop the trailer back off here we are so this is an Avant 2.5 just meaning that it is the JZX100, but NA, uh, the Tour Vs are the turbo, and then uh, they also came with the manual option. Of course, there's the GX100, which comes manual, but I forgot what engine that is. I, just, I don't mess with the GX, I stay JZX. It either comes NA1J or uh, Turbo 1J. And then here we have the C34 Laurel. Uh, definitely, I mean, it's got its little love marks and stuff, but C34 and it is RB25 DET. So same as Charles, a lot of you are familiar with his car. This is kind of like a off-white eggshell. I, I wouldn't even say eggshell. It's definitely like, I would say an off-white. Off-white completely with like a uh, light gold bottoming. Of course, it's got some dents and that's the only scratch on the 
like actual kind of dent scratch on that door. Other than that, it is a pretty clean all around, but now I guess let's get into it. So this car is sold. Uh, no, it is not mine. I thought about keeping this one and going just crazy with it, but you know, it's not the way business goes. So this one is actually going to a good friend. We will wait to disclose who is picking it up until he picks it up. So probably a couple weeks and he's already got parts for it. Um, this stuff is uh, gonna turn around and look like an all brand new car very quick. Let's see if this is open. It's actually really clean inside. Of course, smells like Japan, old people. Doesn't smell like smoke this one, which is good. So, pretty sweet. It does have the digital dash, which is really sick. Uh, the digital dash on these looks like super far in, so it kind of looks like you're looking through a lens uh, to, you know, see kilometers and all the other good stuff. But you got your little card reader in there. That's pretty cool. A little closed compartment. Everything works. Actually, the stereo sounds pretty good on this one. Um, Let's walk over. Big chaser boy. Big chaser boy. I'll get you out of the out of the wind. Everything looks pretty clean on this one. Um, definitely, definitely one of the cleaner ones that I've seen, especially stateside. So definitely glad it's going to a homie because if he didn't hit me up realistically, unless I got a pretty crazy offer on it, um, especially just being a NA chaser, probably would have kept it. So there we are. And uh, it was grade four. So super, super mint underneath is spotless. And all these little streak marks that you guys see are just dirt. Once we wash it, it's gonna look brand new. And this paint actually doesn't have a lot of flake in it, but it is really, really white especially compared to the laurel. So you can kind of see off the hoods and stuff, really, really white, off white. So here we are. It is a Metalist V Turbo, which I believe is one of the nicer specs. Uh, comes with like all of the options on the steering wheel. So you got, you know, cruise control and all that. It is a bit dirty. I will say this is probably the dirtiest vehicle that I've gotten. Uh, very surprised because most of them are really clean inside or you can definitely tell that like sometimes they'll leave cleaning products um, and you could tell that it's been cleaned out, but this one really hasn't. I will say for anybody that is uh, potentially interested in buying this, the doilies are probably gonna be gone uh, I think those are gonna be going to Charles so uh, I know he's been looking for quite a while so I told him when I pick this one up I think uh, I might have to hook him up on that so we shall see of course it is dirty I can't wait to wash these and kind of you know detail them and stuff um, they'll definitely change around the car of course just normal odometer if you can really see that interior not bad, not bad. Definitely dirty all around that area and stuff, but we will get to that. Hopefully not too windy for you guys, but I think it's so funny. These cars, at least the C34s, in my opinion, are the ugly duckling, especially when they are stock. But as you guys have seen, um, whether it be on my Instagram, I posted or just watching Charles' car, Lower them, maybe five lug swap, maybe keep four lug. Uh, you don't even have to have a kit and they start to look, they start to look really good, but we can get you a, a plug on a kit. If anybody picks a C34 off of me, then of course I'm gonna help you out, find some parts and stuff. But man, this might turn into the daily for a while. Uh, we do have some big moves for the channel. So we might need a car to just drive around for a little while, but don't worry, you're gonna be getting more import content and uh, hopefully turn this channel into, you know, import nation. So anyways, here are the vehicles. Um, pretty clean. I mean, it's got a couple spots on this side, but nothing, nothing major.
I will say that both of these cars are completely rust free. Uh, maybe in some other videos or on Instagram, I'll show you what the underneath looks like because it's pretty hard to tell. This door seems like it just hasn't been open or closed very much because it's like, you could tell that the hinges are like kind of tight. Well, here we are. So uh, this will be the end of the vlog. I appreciate you guys watching. If you watched all the way through, if you are interested in the Laurel, uh, shoot me a DM on OZ Imports or on my personal, maybe even comment down below. Let me know you sent a message so that I can make sure I see it. Um, and with that being said, I just wanna say a big shout out to my mom uh, for sliding with me today. She got her Twit card so that we can uh, both go on the port. Don't have to have an escort, don't have to get rushed. And I do apologize, couldn't really get much content, but try to get some videos on next time. Uh, very many next times coming and hopefully not get in trouble by the port. But definitely hyped. Another C34 is on the way, by the way. RB25 DET. I, only, only time I'm picking up our, uh, C34s are gonna be if they're RB25 turbo, um, just because they're cool cars. NA, uh, just unless somebody comes to me and wants a customer order for one, probably won't uh, bring one over. I would rather bring over some other cars that I know will sell. So with that being said, more cars on the way. I appreciate you guys watching and I hope you guys are excited because this is going to a homie, which just means more content. Um, we are gonna be turning into the chaser and import channel and uh, i promise you guys are going to be excited for what's happening to this potentially some uh parts and, and videos on that here soon so i will catch you guys on the next video stay safe have fun hope you enjoyed this one and uh see you guys later